OK, so I have to keep on going with exponents because I have one loose end, one loose end that I did not cover yet. Uh, there's one very important formula that's left, and it's the derivative of the powers. We actually didn't do this. Well, we did it for rational numbers r. So this is the formula here. But now, let me, sorry, let's just stick this in here. This is going to, we're going to check this for all real numbers r. So including all the irrational ones as, as well. This is also good practice for uh, using base e and using logarithmic differ differentiation. So, so let me do this by our two methods that we can use to handle exponent, uh, uh, exponential type problems. So method one was base e. So if I just rewrite this base e, again, that's this formula over here. x to the r is equal to e to the log x to the power r, which is e to the r log x. OK, so now I can differentiate this. So I get that um, d by dx, x to the r. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use um, prime notation because I don't want to keep on writing that d by dx here. e to the r log x prime. And now what I can do is I can use the chain rule. All right, the chain rule says that it's the derivative of this times the derivative of the, uh, of, the, of the function. So the derivative of the exponential is just itself. And the derivative of this guy here, well, I'll write it out once. It's r log x prime. So what's that equal to? Well, e to the r log x is just x to the r. And this derivative here is, well, the derivative of r is 0, right? This is a constant factor. It just factors out. And log x now has derivative, what's the derivative of log x? 1 over x. So this is going to be times r over x. And now uh, we rewrite it in the customary form, which is r. We put the r in front, x to the r minus 1. OK? So this is, this is the, uh, I've just derived the formula for you. And it didn't mount now matter whether r was rational or irrational. It's the same proof. OK, so now I have to show you how method two works as well. So let's do method two, which we call log, logarithmic differentiation. And so here I'll, I'll, I'll use a symbol, say u for x to the r, and then I'll take its logarithm. That's r log x. And now I differentiate it. I'll leave that in the middle because I want to remember the key property of logarithmic differentiation. But first, I'll differentiate it. Later on, what I'm going to use is that this is the same as u prime over u. This is one way of evaluating the logarithmic derivative. And then the other is to differentiate the explicit function that we have over here. And that is just, as we said, r over x. So now I multiply through, and I get u prime is equal to u times r divided by x, which is just x to the r, r over x, which is just what we did before. It's r x to the r minus 1. Uh, again, you can now see by comparing these two pieces of arithmetic that they're basically the same. Pretty much every time you convert to base c or you do logarithmic differentiation, it'll amount to the same thing, provided you don't get mixed up. You generally have to introduce a new symbol here. On the other hand, you you're dealing with, with uh, exponents there. It, it's worth it to know both points of view.